Good people, you already know Sports in the Trenches, the podcast show, your favorite podcast show, favorite sports show. It's your boy Zay World, you already know. Uh, we in the trenches with it. Uh, see, obviously, you see that we are in the trenches with it, right? So, with that being said, <laughs> now this is a joke, man. Like, with that being said, Warriors handled their business last night, y'all. They handled their business, you feel me? Like, put some respect on Draymond Green name for y'all keep saying that's Draymond Green history. Always doing those things to mess with the game. So let's say per se he, per se he didn't do what he do. Like he didn't cause the, re, didn't cause the action. I mean he didn't cause the reaction from the action that's being carried out. Say he didn't, he just stayed there, and let him hold him. Then what would have happened? If this the second time that person doing it, and it's the second time that Kurt the referee saw that, that's the second time that the person doing it. Say he, you know, they stood there and watched the game hold. What would have happened? What would have been the response then? No, that's his question to be. Warren, so wars and six, bro. You know what I mean? Wars and six. That's too much their respect, bro. So we're gonna say wars and six for that, bro. We we, we gave y'all the benefit of the doubt to give y'all two games, but we wars and six, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, that's the talk I be getting. That's the talk they be giving me, like wars and six, man. That's how I get y'all the benefit of the doubt. Keep playing with them like that. Me, I'm biased. I just I'm not just gonna take wars and six, but I'm just saying. Put some respect on Jay Martin Green Nine. Put some respect on Steph Curry. Put some respect on Wars in general, bro. Like, they've been down three, what, three one before? They've been down before. This ain't new to them. They, this, nothing this, that y'all see is nothing new. So when they go down 0 2, it's nothing new. 0 3 is nothing new for them. They were down 3 1 before against OKC with a lesser team than what they have right now. But they main core. So we ain't gonna keep saying like the Warriors ain't can't get past their job, bro. Like can't do their job and get it done well, regardless of the out, regardless of how they looking, how they looking at the beginning, they gonna get it done, right? So uh, not only that, bro. Uh, Philadelphia, I ain't playing with them three zero. That's another team. I told you they gonna be they gonna be the team that get like sweep their team, bro. Don't play with them, bro. Brooklyn I almost had them, but don't play with them, bro. Messages. Get the job down well. Jack Harder got fired out. And B that's consistent, man. They gotta stay in your free. Uh Harris is wonderful, bro. Just the overall players around. It's like those core players right now are pretty good. It's just see can them players around them do what they need to do to help them so not get the solid win, not just get the second. Just make it all the way to East Coming Family and get a chance to get a shot at the championship. You know what I mean? They, they, they always been injured problems and they always ain't got enough. Compared to teams like Milwaukee, Boston, and and Miami, they ain't got enough, bro. Like, if you look at the overall roster, they ain't got enough compared to these players, these teams. But what gonna happen is Harris, Masson, they got the other players got to play so hard where them has got to play monsters. Cause you can't, one of them got to stay on the floor because they got enemies scoring on the floor. So with that being said, Miami got shit everywhere, bro. Uh, Miami Drew, you can't act like Drew, Drew overrated, Drew underrated, bro. He got a job done too the other day. Like they did it without Giannis, bro. Drew is like tough, bro. He got to hit that level when Giannis ain't there, though. That'll make y'all even tougher. I know he had the ball majority of the time, but you got to figure your shit out. Giannis got to figure out too. Like don't go through this little Brian James phase where he ain't gonna trust people. You know, you know we ain't went to Miami and shit like that. I ain't gonna trust you. Sometimes even with the ladies, like he ain't trust too many people to trust that ball, man. So you gotta let them players go, cause that's how you gonna win. You're not gonna win by yourself, bro. That shit ain't working no more. They got that strategy, bro. It's like they double team Adam Davis and LeBron James. They, they, they got the other players got to step the fuck up and ball, bro. Like Reed got to be Reed. Rue got to be Rue. BZ got to come out that fucking slump or whatever he in. Like other players got to step the fudge up to get the job done. So, like I been said, bro, <clears throat> basketball is a beautiful basketball. Where we at now is it's beautiful. It's playing beautiful. Like my, uh, Philadelphia got the win, obviously. Phoenix got the win. Uh, Phoenix got the win. Excuse me, seventy-three points combined between KD and uh, between KD and uh, Booker. Excuse me. Uh, beautiful win, one twenty-nine and one twenty-two, one twenty-five. Uh, Westbrook with 30 points. They still, uh, Clippers still had a chance to beat him, bro. It, that dude couldn't make the last shot. That shot he missed, that bit rolled out, bro. If that would have made the game, course of the game would have changed, what is that? With 125, 126, then 
So if he made three been one, two, and three, three down, you know what I mean? I think the course of the game would change, but they were still, it was still second level. You gotta be, they, they trying, bro. Like, to me, to play at that level and to play these teams that can have these superstars and still play at this level is crazy, bro. And you got Westbrook, I was a superstar. I'm just saying, to have that one superstar and to go against this, this top team and still be close to them, like, you can beat them, y'all gotta make sure y'all win one of them quarters. And to me, like Memphis did, they won the first quarter and they stayed on top. So that's what y'all gotta do. Y'all gotta win. It's like winning a quarter. That's how that's how you approach this shit. That's how you gotta make the move when you're doing this sort of shit. So we're gonna commend the sports world, man. Commend Warriors. Good, great win. Great team win. Draymond Green, get your back so you can go and show them why you Draymond Green. I fuzz with you, bro. You competitive, bro. You, you that dog, bro. You represent a lot, you know what I mean? So. Salute, command Draymond Green. Salute Stephen Curry. I love his mindset, bro. Because he'll fight. He'll fight for his people. He's needing his team, you know what I'm saying? So he'll fight for us regardless. Um, Clay, uh, Clay Thompson, he know he, you know what I mean? He's a dog, so he know. He a dog for me. You know what I'm saying? So I commend all along. Um, salute everybody. Let everybody continue to do what they do. This is the number one podcast show in the world. I know the noise in the background. Sports and Trends podcast show. It's a boy, Zay. Peace.